Hello YouTube, this is Robert Ness 816 and today I'm going to be comparing two fairly popular and uh, currently available adjustable TTO safety razors. Uh, I like this style of safety razor because they are just easier to load a blade in, um, more convenient to clean basically, and um, just for me they're just a, a nicer um, more convenient way to use a uh, safety razor compared to like a three-piece, which isn't terrible to take apart, but it's just one more thing to take apart and maybe fall out of your hands and drop on the floor or whatever. So this is two extremes of the safety razor market. One costs about $27, and I think these usually sell for about $40. This one costs $150, but you can get them often with a uh, discount, so you can usually get these for about $120. Uh, both are pretty much made in China, I want to say. I believe this one is designed in Canada, though. This one's made by Rockwell. This is their T2. And this is uh, Weishi. This one's called, I think, the Blade. But it's uh, the Weishi Adjustable Safety Razor. Uh, Weight-wise, the Weishi is actually heavier. Balance-wise, they're both pretty much identical where their balance points are. They're both right around here, just below where the adjustment dial is. You see that? When you do this take three times and uh, drop your phone, you kind of remember where things are, so it kind of works out. So that's where the balance points are in both of these razors, so pretty much right where you would expect them. The Weishi has a grippier handle than the Rockwell does. The Weishi has a smaller uh, head design compared to the Rockwell, so it's actually easier to shave with the Weishi. Um, if it sounds like I'm favoring the Weishi, I am to a point. The Rockwell basically wins on its um, forgiveness as far as the shaving angle goes. It's an easier razor to use. Um, it is basically a better made razor because you would expect that for 150 bucks, right? It would have to be. Um, the materials don't represent that price point, unfortunately, but the uh, chroming on it there, the finishing on it is pretty much perfect. This one has quite a bit of use on it, so that's why it looks a little bit gross and uh, grungy and whatnot, but that's just how it is. So downsides to uh, both of these razors, well, I'll start with the uh, Weishi. So the downside to the Weishi, and really the only downside to it, is its adjustment mechanism, which is unfortunate. Otherwise, this would be pretty much a perfect razor. I really like how this razor shaves. I like how it handles. Um, it's just basically a very well thought out product, but the execution of it could uh, use a little bit of improvement. So if anyone from Weishi does watch this video, which I doubt, uh, guys, I would work on your casting for the uh, Zamic bottom plate here because on one side it does catch on these uh, doors here. You can see right there where it's rubbing. And um, you can see the brass kind of showing through there. So that's not really an issue because brass doesn't corrode, but it's an issue because when you go to uh, adjust this razor, the bottom plate there kind of catches. So the other thing is too, in order to open and close these doors to the maximum length, you have to put the adjustment dial to its max setting. Otherwise, if you set it to one, the doors will not open uh, as full as they can. So I'll demonstrate that in a bit. So putting a blade in here, trying to look through the camera and putting a blade in is not easy trying not to knock my phone over again so I can tighten down the handle and as we turn the adjustment dial down I will zoom in here so the blade exposure looks nice and even nice and perfect that is quite an aggressive shave right there but maybe good for uh, trimming your sideburns or whatever so definitely good that it has that ability and then when you adjust it down, this is where the issues start, unfortunately. So this is where the doors catch on the uh, bottom plate here. So you can see on this side, they're not really contacting it. So this side works fine. This side does not work fine until I put it down to like one. And then it kind of forces the bottom plate up 
into the blade making the uh, adjustment even again so yeah very unfortunate with a uh, otherwise very nice razor so then when we go to adjust it again you can see how the bottom plate adjusts smoothly going down but not going up because going up there is no spring pushing it down again it's basically just this knob I think pushing the uh, base plate up into the blade so that's unfortunate that it is like that but again going down so not really an issue I mean like say if you start off at an aggressive setting like uh, you know like four and then you want it to go down to three you would just go down to one and then go down to three again so not terrible I mean you can see you know it's, it's something you can make it work but that's really the only downside to this razor other than that everything else on it's like really nice like I said this is pretty much brass it is mostly made out of brass with a little bit of zamic which you know for the price point you would expect so if you have the uh, blade adjustment set to one and you go to open up the doors this is what you will be greeted by and this is not in the instruction manual either so that's the most you can open up the doors so basically you won't be able to remove the blade like that you'll have to close them put it back to seven or the maximum setting here and then open up the doors and then now you can remove the blade and this is about as much as the doors open on their regular uh, TTO razors too. They're not adjustable ones, so pretty much to be expected. So the Wishi adjustable is a nice razor. It just has that one uh, flaw in it, which is unfortunate. I paid $27 for this one, so again, it's something I can live with knowing that I can um, adjust the, uh, the issue out there supposedly you know or allegedly by uh, using a method I just showed you so it, it can be overcome and then we have the uh, Rockwell T2 so I'll open the doors up on this one so this razor has I would say two downsides to it um, again looking through the camera to put the blade in not the easiest so the two downsides to this razor would be the stiffness of the adjustment dial and the TTO mechanism when you first get it is quite hard to use. Um, so when this razor is uh, being used, you will have kind of a wet um, razor to deal with. So basically trying to twist this, this will you really have to put some pressure on the handle here just to try and open and close it. And this razor does not have the largest uh, handle surface here to grip when you're opening and closing it whereas the Wishi on the other hand has a huge handle area to hold on to and this being the actual part that you open and close so in that regard the Wishi is definitely better executed and the adjustment dial is also easier to move to since it has a better grip now after the uh, Rockwell breaks in the adjustments and the TTO mechanism obviously become easier to use but that's not after dozens and dozens of uses so that's you know it's up to you but the shave quality with this razor is very nice though because it can be um, a very smooth shaving razor or it can be an aggressive um, yet still fairly smooth shaving razor as well um, which the actual Wishi can be as well so just something to take note of so the adjustment dial here I'll zoom in on it you can see that it does work perfectly with no issues unlike the Wishi so we can basically go more and more and more aggressive both sides is perfect the blade exposure is perfect on this razor and the uh, we go down here so there you have it so pretty much how you would expect the razor to work and as you can see here on the bottom the um, doors here do not rub at all on the mechanism so there is no contact at all this base plate doesn't touch anything here either so that's another plus so I mean the parts um, tolerances here are well within I guess what 
uh, Rockwell intended when they designed this razor. Usually I leave this one at about four. I find that works fine for me. Usually when I shave with an adjustable razor, I don't really need to touch the uh, the knob or anything like that. The Wishi, you're always going to be turning the knob, I guess, until those uh, parts wear in, at which point the razor will probably work just fine. But again, you need to open and close the uh, adjustment knob to install a blade. So it needs to be on max to install a blade on it there because otherwise you won't be able to. And this is something that is not in the uh, instructions, unfortunately. So I think Wishi should address that or improve the uh, TTO mechanism of this razor. So right there, the bottom handle snug down. I'm not going crazy. I'm just going like this. That's all you need to do. And then this is where the adjustments are. The adjustment settings are really nice and easy to see on this razor, though. So that's something that I really appreciate. And then you can just go to wherever you want. I shouldn't tighten it down. There's no reason to. But I can just go to, on this razor, I usually set it to about 4 or 3 when I shave with it. And I find that that works fine. So between the two of them, which would I go with? So my wife got me this razor last year for my birthday. I really like using it, but the, um, the size of the head stinks. So you can see how big the head is on this razor. It's huge. And uh, I know why Rockwell did that, so that you wouldn't get any um, exposure here with this, which you can, I guess, cut yourself with if you really, really were desperate to do that or careless or whatever. But, I mean, it's not something that will really hurt you if you're smart but if you're careless I guess you could um, most safety razors are going to have the uh, sides of the uh, blade exposed like that it's not an issue so the head size isn't a problem for me because um, sometimes I do have trouble getting under the nose with this razor and it's also kind of um, misleading too because you have all of this area that you would think is shaving but it's just pretty much that you know, just the, the width of the blade, really. Excuse me. So, if there is a third version of this razor, I would definitely prefer them to make the head uh, more compact. And then if we look at how tall the head is, too, the Wishi has just a, a more compact head overall. So, the Wishi, I think, is just a more competent uh, shaving razor. Compared to the Rockwell, the Rockwell is just, um, I mean, it's nice. It's a, a good start for the company, but it's just, it's so expensive for what you get. I mean, they had a stainless steel version that was like 250 bucks, and, you know, they sent it to all the YouTubers. They went crazy with it and all that advertising and pushing it. Um, this razor is basically Zamic. It's brass. It's stainless steel. This razor is brass, mostly brass. A little bit of Zamic, so there's more brass in this razor than there is in this one, and you can tell by the weight too. This is quite a bit heavier. So the handles brass, the doors are brass, the uh, bottom plates brass, the T-bar is brass. You can tell because it's a uh, folded metal. Um, you know, if you zoom in, you can basically see how. Let's see. There we go. You can see how it's basically folded over here, so that's brass. These doors are brass too because the uh, finish is wearing off on them where the uh, base plate's contacting it. You can kind of see right there where the, the brass is kind of showing through. This is Zamic, so this is brass right here. This bottom plate here is brass. There is oil on here, by the way, so that's just from me trying to uh, loosen things up here on this razor, trying to see what uh, the, the deal was with it. This razor was um, purchased by me uh, fairly recently, so I was just kind of playing around with it. But anyways, the build quality on this one is um, good, except for this Zamic base plate, which I think we should address. Basically, just make the tolerances here a little bit wider, just so the... Um, doors don't rub on this base plate here. An unfortunate uh, oversight, I think, with this razor, but it is what it is. And then the um, T2, so the parts on this razor, and you can just go on a Rockwell website too because they don't really hide what this razor is made out of. They're very open with it. 
the doors are Zamic, the uh, T-bar assembly is Zamic, the um, base plate is Zamic, I think this bottom plate is brass. Um, this I think is brass, the handle's brass, there's a little bit of stainless steel inside of here, so it's really just a, um, it's a, it's a very well made razor for sure, it's just that the price point of it I think could be better because of just the, the materials used I think just, um, you know, they don't really warrant the price to be that high, I mean I understand that there was a lot of research and development that went into this razor but I think that Rockwell took the head design just a little bit too far with the overall width of it because again it's just you know it's kind of annoying having a head that wide on a safety razor and it doesn't need to be that tall either so you know that is the reason why I think the Weishi is just I think it's a better overall product even with the issue with the base plate, which is very common on these, but yeah, just my opinion. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments.